Let's go live to Berlin and speak to Bodo Weber. He's a senior associate at the Democratization Policy Council. It's an initiative for accountable democratization policy globally. Bodo, welcome to the program. What's happened to the CDU that it's fallen you in popularity? Me. You know, the CDU, sorry to interrupt you. So, um, the CDU falling in popularity over the past few years. Is there something to it more than just fatigue and over familiarity? Well, I would say there are two aspects. One is we had a drop in um, the popularity of the CDU already under Ms. Merkel over the last half decade following uh, what I once termed her um, uh, European leadership hitting a wall that was in the European refugee crisis. Uh, Ms. Merkel in the last election, one has to remind, um, gave in one of the worst results for her party. She, she somehow uh, made up on that reputation for her and her party, but uh, the CDU unfortunately has been going through a heavily contested uh, contest on the leadership of the party with three candidates. And then it was followed beginning of this year, uh, a quarrel between Mr. Laschet and his uh, contender for the, the, the lead candidate for the next chancellor, uh, the, the head of uh, the Bavarian sister party, CSU, Mr. Söder. So there is a lack of unity within the party, while on the other end, um, the Social Democrats, in a way, showed unusual unity in their election campaign. And Mr. Scholz, in a very awkward way, was uh, uh, successful in portraying him and his party, but particularly him, as the real here and, 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 and the guarantee for security and stability, the, the real here of uh, Ms. Merkel. Obviously, in any election, the candidate is extremely important, but also the voters are important and what makes a voter. So in Germany, how likely are people to vote for personality and how much more likely are they to focus on policy? The outside world has an opinion of what German people are like and they believe that German people are extremely pragmatic. Well, yes, I would say so. But on the other end, um, as I said, this is a very, un it's, it's a very unusual election. Uh, as uh, your colleague in his report already know that we have a huge number of undecided voters. It's basically the end of the Merkel era, 16 years. She is the longest chancellorship in German history. Uh, there are a lot of young voters who, uh, and a lot of young people who, doesn't need, who don't even remember any time in Germany without Merkel. So this is the end of an era. And in a way, her chancellorship was defined by her managing Germany through various crises as the skilled crisis manager. So they, we have a tradition of, you know, a, a policy not so much about having big debates about pro, pro party programs, uh, about policy visions and strategies, but, you know, more about stability, continuity and the person linked to uh, that symbolizes that stability and continuity. And that was in a way, Ms. Merkel, so in a way it, it is... Uh, almost natural that uh, the, the, the here or the, the competitors for the next chancellor uh, in a way try to uh, um, link to that uh, heritage and try to portray them as a, a, a guarantor for continuity and stability, which then, you know, mixes somehow um, personality with policy, but in a way uh, leaves this election campaign very, very much devoid of, of programmatic uh, disputes or even even much of, of programmatic substance, except for what is, has become the overarching topic uh, because of the recent floods and that's uh, climate change. Yeah, absolutely. It's certainly an election that the whole world will be watching, Bodo. Thanks so much indeed for your time. Bodo Weber in Berlin.